Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with yet another video and today I am very proud to show you this Palace chain bag from Louis Vuitton. We're gonna look at the details on this bag. Um, I'm gonna give you the dimensions and then we're gonna do what fits in this bag. We're gonna talk a bit about the down, I mean the downsides. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you my perspective on the positives of this bag. And also I'm gonna talk about maybe about some things which are not that great. So without further ado, let's look at it. So it came in this dust bag noir version, as you can see here, which means black. And the black would signify the calf leather flap, which is really giving this bag, um, you know, a dimension beyond your traditional canvas bag. Um, so if I'll bring it closer for some details, guys, so you can see it. But before we go into that, I'm gonna give you the dimensions of this bag. So the top here is 26 centimeters across. Then the height of the bag would be 17 centimeters. And the width, as you can see here, this harmonica style um, bag with here is six centimeters. So keep that in mind, 27 with 17 with six centimeter. Palace chain, so why the chain? Because, well, it has a chain which is coming out of the bag like this. It is attached, I mean, it is passing through two loopholes, which I'm gonna come closer now here so you guys can see them. So they're in gold hardware. Both of them are marked Louis Vuitton and the same on the other side here. And that's how it travels, meaning it allows you to have the short chain um, setup for more like off the shoulder look and then you can have the long chain setup where you would want to carry this crossbody. I know a lot of people ask and I'll try to do this now sorry it was not prepared but uh, let's see if I can find um, the meter I have it here so I'll measure the drop because I know a lot of people ask, okay, so what is the drop on this bag um, from, you know, one position to the other? So first of all, we're gonna measure uh, the short style of carrying it, so like this. I put the meter here and I need to do this proper so I get the proper measurement. There we go, guys. So this is going to be around 30 centimeters uh, if we have the chain in this position If I go for the lower so kind of a crossbody look on this bag um, The drop will be Just give me a second. I'll give you that so 55 centimeters Around 55 centimeters. So remember that um, if you are gonna measure that at home with some other bag, what would that mean to you? To me, what it means is if you're super tall or let's say 180 centimeters and above, this bag is gonna be a bit of a problem to carry across the shoulder. You can still wear it off the shoulder like this and the drop is gonna be okay. But if you like to have a bit of a lower hanging piece um, that's gonna be a challenge if you're over 180 centimeters. So keep that in mind and I do suggest you try that um, In a store before you go for a bag like this the current retail price here in Europe is 1640 euros. I had it somewhere there. I just checked um, So it's not a cheap bag but um, I think what you're getting and compared to some other bags in this segment, I think it's kind of worth the money um, outside on the back there's nothing spectacular to be seen so no pockets in the back as you can see the canvas is one piece of canvas going from this part around all the way to this side so that's why on this side it's turned upside down and on the top here you have the black calf leather which starts to go from this side of the back just like this all the way to the other side and creates this flap for closing and I'm gonna come to the lock very very short on this side here There is a very minimalistical Embossing of Louis Vuitton Paris and it's almost not visible. It's here guys So I'll bring it close so you guys can see it and two studs 
are making this bag from one and the other side which I think help with attaching this of course the flap is stitched but also there's a uh, you know two studs here both of them are marked Louis Vuitton as you can see here when I come close up to this bag now the closing mechanism is a very beautifully executed S-lock and as you can see here the way to open this bag is just to push this piece inwards and then it just takes the bag out in order to close it back it's just you align it with a little hole and you just press it back in um, it is absolutely beautiful so it has Louis Vuitton Paris engraved and the little LV sign on the top as you can see she still did not remove some of the stickers here and I, I suggest if you get a bag like that you leave them on as long as possible because they do protect um, you know the polished size of this lock um, as probably on the fly when you will be opening this you will not always align it as you can see correctly with this hole therefore you will start to scratch it one way down the road and in order to be able to protect the bag um, I suggest you leave these stickers on if possible um, there is a nice little pull tab here as you can see which is also made out of leather and I really like that it's made out of brown leather which kind of contrasts with the black leather here um, some people said that they would prefer this would be black uh, and on the pictures I was of a similar opinion but now when I see the bag live I must admit uh, that I, I really like this brown pull tab before I go inside I want to spend a second on the on the chain and I'm gonna bring it close up here so I really really like the chain first of all I like the design of the chain um, and it, it reminds me of uh, you know the gold chains that used to be popular in the 90s or 2000s and still might be um, in the design which I was I think it was called Panzer design of the way it's woven this chain or something like that but I really like its simplistic yet very sturdy design um, also you know I like that the chain is thick it's not one of these thin chains and I should have bring out the Feli C which I have and I didn't review on that one guys um, that chain is much thinner you might you know debate that that's a, a smaller bag and not actually a bag with more of a wallet um, okay it might be but still you know this is a way way more thicker chain if I bring in my thumb and which is a really thick manly thumb um, you can see the size of this chain first of all you get a piece of security with a chain like that second of all you get presents okay this this chain is definitely bringing presents to this bag and if this chain would be, be thinner it wouldn't make this bag what it is today so I really really like the chain so let's look inside of this bag um, and how it looks inside and what the setup is so if you look inside first of all what you will notice that the interior is made out of microfiber lining and I think at the 1600 euro price that was the right um, you know the right thing to do from Louis uh, because you know this bag would just not feel as quality as it does with you know your standard lining that you would get on your monogram pieces as for the internal setup you have one big compartment which kind of splits into two compartments one two and then in the middle you have a zipped compartment um, which you you know can use for something like that you want to kind of separate inside here is the booklet that I she received with the uh, with the, the bag and one thing which I wanted to show you from these guys is the code so if anybody's interested in this particular bag this is the code you can um, you can stop that and check it for yourself so as I said one compartment uh, the zipper hardware golden as with this kind of bags and extremely extremely um, smooth for opening and closing now the back compartment has another little slip compartment here in the background so I'll try to show it so there it is so there's another slip compartment and this one is good for I don't know let's say putting a card holder in there or something like that or a phone and the front compartment actually has no slip pockets but there is another compartment all the way up to the front which kind of is you know a separate thing on its own and it's here so you get one compartment two compartments three compartments and inside the third one you have one small compartment so there's quite a lot of organization in this bag 
and I think if you pack it smart you can take quite a lot of stuff with you so first of all let's try to put some of the items in there and we will see what goes in so I already show you a small card holder so we'll go on with the minimalistic approach first which is gonna be the small Chanel card holder and I'll put that all the way in the back one pair of car keys I'll put that all the way to the front one coin purse and I'll put that here in this part one six key holder I'll put that also here in the front one clear I'll put that in the back one pair of headsets for your phone I'll put that in the back um, an iPhone uh, 6s standard size I'll put that one in the back of the slip pocket and I'll put the card holder next to the next to the cleats and a pair of let's say sunglasses and here is a bit of a challenge so let me show you what I have packed so far um, not a problem at all let me try to close this bag now as it's packed at the moment there you go easy peasy now um, there is much more that can fit in this bag for sure but say you have a pair of sunglasses and we all know that some of them come in these large huge cases and this is a pair of Ditas um, the model oops the bag fell out it's called Condor very nice avia aviator style sunglasses so the sunglasses on its own are very very small and it wouldn't be a problem to fit them in this bag but unfortunately the case is humongous so if you have sunglasses with a case like that this is a challenge for a bag of this size you're not going to be able to put that in here I just wanted to show you that uh, or you would be able to put it in but then some of the SLGs need to disappear because this is going to add significant bulk I think this case is the same size as the bag itself so I do not recommend you putting that that said there are you know some some of the slip-on pouches or I have another pair of glasses here which are from Oliver's people um, called daddy B there we go so these ones you know because they're in a case like that you can easily you know put them like that just throw them on the top of the bag and with ease close this bag up so you need to think a bit you know how you pack your bag but you can really put a lot of stuff in this bag so do not think that this is a super small bag this is not a wallet on chain um, this is a, a bag a smaller bag um, which uh, you know will take quite a lot of stuff although you need to a bit think about what you are putting in what you're not putting in I took out some of the items because I want to show you we have a larger Valentino zippy wallet which I'll try to put in here so just so you guys see that that's also possible there you go it's there in the back you see and I'll put um, some of the stuff back in so I'll put back the two the two things that I took out which is um, the two card holders as you can see that's fitting without a problem um, and I'll even put in the sunglasses back in try to close it so this is now it's you know absolutely packed packed as you can see it starts to lose the shape here um, so this is a bit too much already so you definitely need to think about how you're gonna pack it that said you know once I put in that wallet it eliminates the need for this card holder and it eliminates the need for the coin purse because that's in the wallet say I want to keep the clays I need the keys I keep the car keys I should put this more up so you guys can see it so I keep the car keys in the front compartment I keep the clays I keep the six key and I wanted to my my Apple AirPods fell down um, and in the middle compartment I can still put some stuff I didn't put nothing there in the back of my uh, bag I have the the phone 
the iPhone 6s and here is the large wallet from um, Valentino that's the size of a standard ZP wallet or a SATA wallet or something like that So that's gonna fit in this bag also should you need but I don't really need I don't really think you know I think it's a better idea to take you know a card holder and uh, And the coin purse and then use the clips for your loyalty cards all in all guys Honestly speaking, I really think this is a great great bag I'll be completely honest when she got it a thousand six hundred whatever that was I, I looked at it glanced at it very quickly and I said mm, That's quite an expensive bag for what it is But it is so much more than it looks like the leather on the top adds a sense of Premium to this bag also, you know with the addition of this wonderful s lock and then the quality thick massive chain it just elevates this bag beyond your traditional canvas bags and it puts it in a league of its own and once you look at it from close up and you really understand what this bag is you understand the price tag um, you know that this is not your you know standard standard bag it is very very classy but yet because it does add the monogram canvas to it it's also you can get away with it with a quite a casual attire you know on the other hand so it's very very versatile you don't really need to be super dressed up for this bag but if you are the bag is gonna look awesome if you're wearing I don't know a, a jeans shirt and you know you know just running your errands around you know you're taking this out for a weekend it's gonna look phenomenal if you take it out on the evening it's gonna look great you can you know keep it in your hands like this and kind of use it almost as a clutch or I said you can go with you know just having it here and me it looks small because I'm a large dude and this is a ladies bag <laughs> but uh, you know so you have three ways of carrying this or cross the shoulder off the shoulder with the longer strap um, it's a really really phenomenal bag guys um, if you have any questions do let me know I'm more than happy to answer some of them um, I do hope you have enjoyed this video and you find it useful if you did so please hit the like button and subscribe for more and I'll see you on my next video for now have a great one bye